Starlink is killing off one of the best service plans that they've ever offered, one that you've probably never even heard of. And in the process of killing that off, they're kind of screwing over a few of the grandfathered in customers that were on that old legacy service plan that are in waitlisted areas. Let's start by going back in time to the 2021, 2022 timeframe when Starlink was really just brand new. So back in the day, they really only had one service plan. That was the residential home internet service plan. You couldn't really travel with it. They added business later on, which is obviously meant for those commercial government, nonprofit, those type of consumers. And then later on, around the May of 2022 timeframe, they added what we now know as residential plus portability. That was really just a feature add-on to the base residential service plan. The portability add-on was just $25 extra per month in addition to your normal residential service bill. And it allowed you to travel anywhere within your continent. So it allowed you to really take your home unit dish and go elsewhere with it. Previously, people were just tied to their fixed service address. Residential plus portability was really the first iteration of what we have now today, which is Starlink Roam. So it's their first step into offering travel internet to consumers. And it was really popular. It was really a dual use case service plan that allowed people to take their current existing home unit dishes and then go travel with it. So what you see behind me here, this round original beta dish, that was the current hard there, hardware that was selling at the time. And as you can see, it's not very travel friendly. That thing was huge. It really wasn't the kind of hardware that we have now, like with the Starlink Mini. So traveling with Starlink really wasn't as popular back then. It really wasn't as in demand compared to now, but really residential plus portability was that first step for Starlink to try to offer that service. But then less than a month later, Starlink introduced Starlink RV. That's the previous name for what we now know as Starlink Rome. RV or Rome was their travel service plan, the dedicated service plan to traveling. That allowed you to take your Starlink anywhere within your home continent. And it was a separate service plan. So you weren't tied to your home internet service dish. You got a separate equipment or you moved your current equipment to a new plan and it was deprioritized below residential customers. So really the difference between RV at the time and then residential plus portability was the fact that you couldn't really pause residential plus priority. Your base plan, your residential plan couldn't be paused. You could just turn off and on that portability aspect of it. RV, on the other hand, the whole bill could be paused. At the time it cost $135 a month. So that could be paused when you know, you're not camping. So for seasonal usage, for example. So Starlink really had two options, two great options to offer their consumers who needed to travel with Starlink. You could use residential plus portability if you wanted a plan that would do it all. Plan for your home internet and you take the same equipment and you're able to travel with it. Or if you wanted a standalone kit to buy a separate kit, or maybe you just needed travel internet period, you didn't actually need Starlink for home internet, you could buy RV or Roam. And that would allow you to do all your traveling and stuff with its own standalone service plan. So Starlink maintained these two different options, these two different travel options for some time. But what we didn't know at the time was that the RV plan or Rome plan as we know it today really kind of spelled the end of the portability add-on. It didn't make sense for Starlink to have these two different options. They were kind of confusing to some people because people had begun to associate the name portability with traveling with Starlink before RV was launched. And now they have this new plan called RV. It got kind of confusing. So in February of 2023, Starlink sends out an email to everybody letting them know that residential plus portability was no longer going to be an option for new customers. Customers that were already on that service plan would be grandfathered in, they'd be allowed to keep their residential plus portability. And that was really good news for those customers because at the same time, Starlink actually raised the prices of RV. So it used to be $135 a month and then they moved it to $150 a month. So at that time, that's really when residential plus portability became such a good service plan offering because it was actually much cheaper than the RV plan. Fast forward to this week, Starlink started sending out emails to customers that had been subscribed to that residential plus portability add-on plan. They were grandfathered in, but that is officially ending. So on February 23rd, anybody that is subscribe to that old legacy service plan will be moved to Rome Unlimited. 
And that kind of spells a problem for people in waitlisted areas. So what doesn't make sense to me is that, you know, this old plan, residential plus portability, that's a residential service plan. Why didn't they just get moved over directly to residential? We don't know. They're being moved automatically on the 23rd of February to Rome Unlimited. And that's kind of a massive price increase. So these customers are currently paying $135 a month for their legacy service plan. They're being moved to the $165 a month Rome Unlimited plan. But if, you, if those customers live in a waitlisted area, they're not actually able to transfer or sign up to residential, which is a big problem and how people are getting kind of screwed over by this change from Starling. It's simply not fair that customers who are in waitlisted areas who have been on an existing residential plan can't move over to the you know, updated version of residential automatically. You know, they're kind of being screwed over because they're gonna be forced to go into Rome now, even though they've been paying residential customers for years. I really hope this is an oversight or kind of a bug by Starlink. And I suggest if you're in that situation to create a support ticket, explaining your situation, explaining to Starlink support that you would like to be moved to a residential account and not a Rome Unlimited account to maintain your current residential priority status. But besides that reason, it is sad to see this residential plus portability plan go away because it was truly one of the better service plans that Starlink has ever offered, just because it offered that dual use scenario capability. You could use it at your home and you could take that same dish and then use it out on the road as a Rome dish to travel with. It was just kind of the perfect all-in-one solution. If you're a subscriber to that residential plus portability plan, let me know what you're gonna do in the comments below. Uh, are you having any success with Starlink transferring you over to a residential account? Because you know that would be the fair thing to do. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or feedback on this video, or this, this legacy service plan, let me know. I'll chat with you in the comments and see you in the next video.